So this is the last night in the castle as it is. Uh, from tomorrow now we start the next phase which is taking down the entire first floor. Um, Unfortunately, when I first made it, I compromised structural integrity for light <laughs> and basically some of the windows are too big and we've had so many visitors here now that um, there's some concerns kids climbing out of the windows. So it's a bit of a mission to take it all down, put it back up, uh, but we hope we know the windows come back up, it will look better than ever before. Tomorrow I've got a friend come to help me, uh, Mr. Lewis Bunn, he's, uh, he's a good egg. <laughs> A limited edition Cadbury's cream egg filled with protein and sprinkles to be honest but uh, it's always good fun and I'm looking forward to having some help. What we've got to do today is um, take down this top row of stones, we've got to put the big stones at the bottom and all the small stones down are going towards the top of the tower. The issue we've got is some of these windows. The main support and stone in the middle is starting to crack. So we're going to start by collapsing these two windows, putting the big stones down the bottom and the small ones down at the top. And then we've got to grab the flag and move it all the way to the top of the tower. Another one, Mike?
I've been coming here like a year and a half now. Started last summer when we was building the second floor. I've got ADHD, so I don't like pubs or busy places. So being up here in nature is perfect for myself. Every day is different and always challenging. If I'm not here with my little boy watching movies or going on little adventures and I'm teaching him to play tennis at the moment, I will mostly be spending time at the gym. It's very important to myself to have a routine. I'm very impulsive by nature. Oh, he spotted the rings and what he's doing there is just absolutely incredible. When I first come up here, uh, he said, right, this down the bottom, let's go and get some trees. And there was a tree there the size of a lamppost. So five minutes later, I said, right, you can come out now. I thought he was filming me having a laugh or something. But nope, he checked it on his shoulder and walked it a mile up the mountain. Ever since that day, I thought anything is possible. Great day up here with uh, Lewis and his friends today. Uh, we've got quite a bit done. We've taken out the first five windows. Uh, there's a lot more than we expected to do. Um, Lewis is a brilliant character. He's constantly helping other people and he's extremely empathetic towards others. Uh, one of the things I've noticed most about him and his father uh, is when people are talking to them, they always lean in to listen with uh, real intent. It's a real sign of a very, very nice character. I uh, can't thank him enough for his help. Uh, next, we got Joe and his dad uh, coming up with the guitars and harmonicas to uh, sing some music up here and start getting logs 
for the roof of the tower. Uh, many thanks for watching all the way to the end.